so you want to buy PowerDirector. They've got Ultra, Ultimate, Bundle Pack, PowerDirector 365, Director Suite 365. Which one should you get? Maybe you have an earlier version of PowerDirector and you're wondering if you should upgrade. Watch this episode to find out which version of PowerDirector you should get. This episode is part of a series on video editing with CyberLink PowerDirector 16 or 17. If you are new to PowerDirector, click the link in the upper right corner of this video for the complete playlist and start learning from the first episode. If you want to learn more about using PowerDirector, click the little cartoon Jeff on screen to subscribe, then hit that little bell icon so you'll be notified when I post again. Also, if you want to buy PowerDirector, please use the link in the description below. If you do, CyberLink will contribute to this channel at no extra cost to you. If you appreciate the education you get on these tutorials, please support this channel by purchasing through this link. If you want a great, inexpensive video editor, you'll be very happy with PowerDirector. When you visit CyberLink, you'll find five different options to get PowerDirector. Three options allow you to buy the license outright. Two options are subscription-based licenses. By the way, I'll quote prices in this episode, but remember that CyberLink changes prices and runs special offers all the time. Be sure to check current pricing at CyberLink.com as you consider your purchase. Let's start with the one-time purchase options. Ultra is the basic package for PowerDirector. It includes a good selection of templates, audio files, content packs, and plugins, things that I rarely use but you might enjoy. The main thing is, this gets you the program at the lowest price for a one-time purchase. The Ultimate package normally costs $30 more than Ultra and adds some content packs and plugins to what you get with Ultra. The program itself is exactly what you get with the Ultra package. The bundle combines PowerDirector Ultra with PhotoDirector, a program for editing still images. When you choose any of these packages, you pay a single price and own the license forever. However, when CyberLink releases a new version, you'll have to pay to upgrade to the new version. Looking at these three options, we can quickly eliminate the ultimate. Unless you like using the pre-designed templates and plugins, you can save 30 bucks and buy the Ultra package. If you need a photo editor, you can add PhotoDirector with the Ultra version and knock off both needs at once. That's it if you want to buy the program outright. CyberLink also has two subscription options for PowerDirector. Rather than buying the program outright, you pay a subscription fee every month or every year, depending on how you set it up. You get a discount if you pay annually. The first is called PowerDirector 365. PowerDirector 365 gives you everything you receive with Ultra and comes with additional plugins and add-ons. It even comes with a more important benefit that I'll explain in a minute. It costs $69.95 per year, which breaks down to $5.83 per month. The second subscription option is called the Director Suite 365. Director Suite 365 includes everything you receive with PowerDirector Ultimate and throws in more add-ons and plugins than you get from any other package. It also includes three more programs. First, it has the Photo Director for editing pictures. Next, it includes Audio Director, an audio editing program. Audio Director is probably not necessary for most users. PowerDirector has decent sound editing capabilities built into it already. But if you really want to dig into the audio, Audio Director is there for you. Finally, Director Suite 365 is bundled with Color Director, which does increase your ability to work with color grading significantly over the base PowerDirector program, so it definitely adds value. You get all of that for $129.99 per year, or $10.83 a month. At $69.95, the PowerDirector 365 subscription fee for a year is less than the cost to buy the program. After two years, the subscription is more expensive than buying the program. As I mentioned, with the subscription service, you have access to additional plugins and add-ons over what you get with the Ultra license. For me, that's a non-issue, as I don't use those plugins, but maybe you do. The real value from the PowerDirector 365 subscription is that with the subscription, you receive regular updates to the program. When PowerDirector 18 comes out, you get that for free. If you buy PowerDirector 17 Ultra, you have to pay to upgrade to 18. 
So with all that, what should you get? Let's start with the people who own an earlier version of PowerDirector. I don't see any big reason to pay to upgrade from version 16 to version 17. The enhancements are probably not going to be all that significant to you. If you're using an earlier version of PowerDirector, I think it's probably worth the upgrade for you. For people who decide it's time to upgrade, or for first-time buyers, which package should you get? For PowerDirector, I think the subscription plans are generally a better value than buying the program outright. I think PowerDirector 365 is the most cost-effective choice overall. You get the PowerDirector Ultra program with all the updates for under 6 bucks a month. Personally, I already have programs to edit audio and still images. So I don't really need the Director Suite 365. But if you don't have those programs already, the Director Suite 365 subscription is a great deal. With Director Suite 365, for only $11 a month, you get video editor, photo editor, audio editor, and color correction program that are all designed to work seamlessly together, and that's a bargain. So in most cases, I think the subscription options provide your best value. But there are situations where you should go with the one-time purchase of Ultra or PowerDirector PhotoDirector bundle over the subscription plans. If you plan to use the program on a computer that is not connected to the Internet, go with the Ultra option. Or, if you need a photo editor, the PowerDirector PhotoDirector bundle. The subscription options won't work for you if the PC is not connected to the Internet. With the 365 plans, the software must be able to check in with CyberLink regularly to ensure you've paid your subscription fee and to download any updates. If your computer is offline, just buy the Ultra or the Bundle and install it on your non-connected computer. Who else is the one-time purchase option good for? So, are you one of those people still using Windows XP, Office 97, or some form of Lotus 123? Do you believe changes usually change for the worse? Do you hate the book, Who Moved the Cheese? Okay, many people don't care about updating their programs. If it works right, why change to a new version later? I get that mindset, I really do. If you just want to buy a program that gives you excellent video editing capabilities and you don't care about future updates or plugins, get Ultra. It's very stable and it does a great job. Over the long haul, that is, more than a year, you'll spend less money as long as you can resist the impulse to upgrade for new features and capabilities. I think it's great that CyberLink offers reasonable prices for both the Buy at Once and subscription options. Now that you understand the features of each option, you can pick the right package for your specific needs. If you want to buy PowerDirector, I hope this episode helps you decide which version best fits your needs. Regardless which version you choose, I do hope you'll use the link in the description below when it comes time to buy. If you do, CyberLink will contribute to this channel, which allows me to continue to make more videos for you at no extra cost to you. If you plan to buy PowerDirector and you enjoy the tutorials, support this channel and use the link in the description. Remember, sharing is caring. If you would share this video on social media, I would really appreciate your help. On screen, you'll find a link to the complete playlist of PowerDirector video editing tutorials, so please check them out. If you want more tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Before you go, be sure to hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel so you know when more videos are released. Thanks for watching.